Hey YouTube, my name is Mikey Walsh and this is a tutorial on the EasyIO controllers and the Apps Tool. The Apps Tool is an offline programming simulator for the FG, FW, but not the 30p controllers. If you need a copy of the Apps Tool, please contact your supplier for the current version. So to start the Apps Tool, I've loaded mine under the C drive. Just double click on the Apps Tool XE to pull it up. You'll notice the first time you start it up, there are no application options. You have to create the simulation controller before you start. So click on the Create button, give it a name. I always prefix mine with the hardware version I'll be using. So today we'll set up an FG. The FGs have different versions. The 1.5 are the FGs. The version 2s are the pluses. The version 3s are the FS controllers. And obviously the FWs are the FWs. So we're going to use a version 2, 48D. Pick the latest one and create. The software doesn't automatically load up the last created application. So you have to select it from the drop down and click the start button. The bottom line says the application is running. So now all we have to do is connect to it with CPT. This is a default version of CPT. We'll create a new connection. We'll call it apps tool FG. We have the option of two different ways of connecting to the apps tool with the host ID. We can give it 127.0.0.1 or you can just type in local host. Both work. Remember the password, select FG or FW or 30 or not 30p, but um, FG or FW. Select save and open. This opens up a controller. You have called a rename the app test, renames it. You can add kits, upgrade kits, um, all the things you could do if it was a real controller, which for all intents and purposes it is. So I'll just upload a kit. We can see the application is running again. That might have been a little bit quick. You can see it's moving the kits, starting the application. The application is now running on this line here. Go to our kits. The Roth RFG kit is installed. So now we can dump blocks on a page or whatever we want to do. Configure them all up as required, however you like. Save. Close out of this. Go to Apps Tool and stop it. If you don't save it in CPT, the Apps Tool will not save your application. So if you stop it without saving, you don't get all your last information saved. It saves the files in the apps tool folder under Sedona apps. And this is our FG test we made. And the apps.sab and the kits.scode are the two files that you'd need to copy out um, and put somewhere else. These other files here are support files for the virtual machine, for the simulator. So you can delete those move this out to your project file and deploy on site. So start up again. 
this time we'll connect using 127.0.0.1 we can see all our stuff is still here so I hope that helps you out if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe if you'd like notifications of new videos smash the bell icon until next time thank you